any business, you have um, an organizational chart. And, and I'll, I'll go off of like, we use um, EOS, Entrepreneurial Operating Systems. So it's like you have the visionary, that's the person who sits at the top, that would be you with this company that um, you might be in every seat right now, but, but eventually the visionary is the person that, that probably birthed the, the product or, or the, the service, the business, um, and is continually thinking and, and driving the company forward. And, and most of what their uh, value forward is continually, uh, I mean, I, I just said it, thinking and, and visioning where that business is gonna go and then sharing that with the person below them, which is the integrator. Um, and I say that like visually on this chart, not necessarily like below them, but, but visually on this chart, the integrator, who is more of like the management minded person who takes all the wild ideas of the visionary and brings them to fruition by giving them order and sometimes telling that person like, that's just a crazy idea. Like, let's put that one in, in the back pocket for now and, and stay focused on what we're doing. Um, and disseminates the information down to the team so that it can actually get done. And then below them on the leadership team, um, you have sales, you have marketing, you have operations. Um, in our business, you would have a head trainer and you have uh, finance, right? So if you go into business to be an employee of your business, that means that you work nine to five plus wherever you sit on that organizational chart, more than likely in the visionary seat. And if you're spending your you know, day working nine to five on doing things that you could have someone else do um, at probably better than you can do it because as you do the thing, and I'm speaking from personal experience here, your brain will be completely bogged down with like, oh my God, like this system could be switched to this and it'd be so much better. And if, if we were to do this and you're not really, you have to like continue to be like, all right, presence, presence, presence in the moment and get out of that like forward thinking visionary mindset. Um, there's only so many hours in the day. So you're doing that nine to five. When do you do the, the visionary moving the business forward type stuff? Um, I did that for the first like, three and a half years to four years of this business, working every single session, coaching people. That's where my passion lies. We say for, for our umbrella of companies, it's, it's human development for development's sake. And I liked to be involved in the first hand human development aspect of training. But at the end of the day, realized that my impact to create that human development for development's sake is way bigger when I'm able to actually go back and make sure that these big ideas that we have are able to be made real, I guess, if that makes sense. It does. Would you say though that when you're starting, obviously you, yeah. said, you said when you started, yeah. you were the, an employee. Yes because I find myself sitting and sewing and just looking forward <laughs> to the day yeah. when I don't have to sew anymore, yeah. you know, when, when I had the manufacturer to do that. It's kind of a requirement to know every aspect of the business. So you kind of yes. got to do those things yeah. on the front end. I think it depends on the type of business. There's big businesses that start where it's like from day one, they're very organizational minded and systems, but we're talking small business here, right? right? That, that, that person who wants to just, yeah. okay, this is what I'm going to do. Yeah. And it may turn out to be big. Every, everything you said, 100% correct. My don't was don't start a company to be an employee in your own company. It's a forward thinking, a forward vision. Yes. But it doesn't mean that you won't be an employee in your company for any certain amount of time. It depends on your goals. Some people, maybe the first five years, I'm going to have some type of nine to five type role in my business. But you should have an end game. Being an entrepreneur, which is a, a, a word that I hesitate to use in, in a small business like this, for the next 40 years and trying to do the traditional retirement route like that, like what I mean is developing something that in the next X number of years, you have a plan to essentially remove yourself from it. That doesn't mean you won't be there and still be the face and go around and be involved, but you're not tied down to the business in a way that doesn't free you up to do other things. Does that make sense? Oh, perfect sense. Difference between perfect sense. wanting to be an employee of your company forever versus by necessity. And to everything you just said, I think that is a blessing and a strength is to have to do all or most of the roles in the beginning. I don't think it's a necessity with small business. I think at least touching every role for a bit how systems are created. Third don't is don't go into business with the wrong partner. Going into business, the last thing that you want to do is, is go into business with someone who is a carbon copy of yourself or uh, someone who is too nice. Too nice would be that you're sitting down, you're about to make a big decision. We're not really concerned about upsetting the other one. We, we care deeply for each other. But whenever we're sitting down, if there are bigger things at stake here than how you feel in the moment. So someone might come in with a great idea that our job as a business partner is to try and poke every hole in it. To basically think if we do this, 
can we live with the cost of doing that though? What are the, what are the negative costs potentially? Not going into business with a business partner where you don't set expectations of roles up front is a huge recipe for disaster. Do you have those documented? Yeah, that would go back to that organizational chart that I was talking about, a visionary integrator, marketing, sales, operations, head trainer, finance, all that stuff, yeah. And in the beginning, if it's you, your initials are sitting in every <laughs> single seat. 